Hello, science fans. Bill Nye here. Have you ever wondered why a ball falls down instead of up? Or how a microwave heats your food? Or what makes a rainbow appear after a storm? The answer to all these questions, and so many more, is physics. Physics is the science that studies everything in the universe. From the tiniest particles you can't even see to the biggest galaxies millions of light years away. It's the rule book for how everything works. It might sound complicated, but trust me, it's not just for people in lab coats. Physics is for everyone, because it's happening all around you, all the time. Understanding physics is like getting a backstage pass to the show of the universe. It helps you appreciate the world in a whole new way. When you play catch, you're using physics. When you ride a bicycle, you're a master of balance and motion, that's physics. Even when you're just sitting in a chair, forces like gravity are at work. Learning physics isn't about memorizing a bunch of strange words and complicated formulas. It's about developing a sense of curiosity and asking why and how. It's about looking at the ordinary world and seeing the extraordinary principles that govern it. It's a way of thinking that can change your perspective forever. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Physics is hard. It's all math and confusing theories. I hear you. It can feel that way sometimes. Our first tip is all about perspective. Before you dive into the deep end with complex equations and tiny details, take a moment to look at the big picture. What is the main idea of the topic you're studying? For example, if you're learning about Newton's laws of motion, don't start by memorizing F equals sine may. Instead, think about the core concept. Forces change how things move. That's it. An object will keep doing what it's doing unless something pushes or pulls on it. A bigger push will cause a bigger change. For every push, there's an equal push back. See? That's the whole idea in a nutshell. Think of it like looking at a map before you start a road trip. You wouldn't begin by studying every single street name in a city you're going to visit. First, you'd look at the whole country or state to see where the city is located. You'd find the major highways that lead there. This overview gives you context. It helps you understand where you are and where you're going. In physics, the big picture is the fundamental principle. Once you grasp that main idea, all the smaller details and formulas will have a place to fit. Every formula, every definition, every example problem. It creates a logical structure in your mind, making it much easier to remember and apply what you've learned. So how do you do this? Before you read a chapter in a textbook, read the introduction. Read the summary first. Look at the section headings. Ask yourself, what is the story this chapter is trying to tell me? Once you have the